All right, welcome to chapter nine. In this chapter, I'm gonna take a little bit of time and just approach some fairly common problems that people have in Blender uh, that almost always have generally the same answers and are fairly easy to solve, but may not be clear how to solve them. So the first one that I wanna look at is a very common one, and that is any kind of dynamic or particles or something like that not following its parent. So in this case, I have this sphere set up with some basic particle hair. Uh, just set up via the particle system here, set to the hair type, and then I've just combed the hair just a little bit just to have a very quick sample. And then this same sphere is uh, being controlled via a single bone via the armature. And then I also have collisions set up such that my hair dynamics, which you can find right here, are also colliding. So this is my very basic setup, and it works quite well. If I have my, my bone here and I go into pose mode, I rotate it, move it, you can see we immediately have a problem. And that it's moving the sphere just fine, but it's not moving the hair. The hair just stays in place. And obviously for characters, this isn't gonna work. And this has a very simple solution. And the solution to it is in the modifiers panel. You can see I have a particle system, I have a collision system, and I have my armature. But the thing to keep in mind with modifiers is that they're uh, applied in order from top to bottom in the stack. So first the particle system is added, then the collisions added, then the armature system is added. And so what this means is the, the particles are not actually paying attention to the armature. And so what this means is that the particle system actually doesn't even acknowledge that the armature exists. And so what we need to do is merely move the armature above the particle system such that First, the object is being modified by the armature, and then that modified object is then being used for the particle system. So if I take my bone now and I rotate it or move it, it works just fine. And this then allows me to animate it where I can then, you know, move it over, move it back, what have you, and everything works just fine. So if you, you have an object that is not following uh, another object or you have a dynamic system that's not following correctly, just be sure to check the order of your modifier stack. Now this same example can also be seen if we go over here, say, and add in just a sphere, or we'll just add in, how about a monkey? And then I'm gonna delete one half of the monkey and I wanna round it out so I have a subdivision surface modifier. So I will apply or add it in the subsurf. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a mirror modifier as well because I want this to be symmetrical. And then we have a problem because you see that we have this seam down the middle, which is causing this weird sharpness that we don't want. You know, this should be nice and smooth. And so this is another example where first we add in the mirror modifier such that it creates the symmetrical mesh. And then we round out the symmetrical mesh, not the one half of the mesh. So just keep in mind the order of your modifiers in the stack to uh, solve problems like this.